Hi there, I'm Andy, this is Ruby. I'm going to try and make this video for you, which all is going to be about doing a solo trip, independent of travel companies, down the River Wye. Now, I thought it was going to be pretty simple to start with, because I thought I was actually just going to book a trip and go down there. But, it wasn't as simple as that, because as soon as they know that you're travelling on your own, and your party is less than two people, you can't hire any canoes. So fortunately, I've managed to borrow one. It's in this bag. It's an inflatable canoe, and we've tested it out on Slin Padan um, at Lamberis. Ruby's happy in it. I bought her this rough wear buoyancy jacket. I've got my buoyancy jacket here, um, and I thought our problems were solved. But then I realised that you've got a big problem of actually getting your canoe to the start of where you want to start paddling and then getting it out at the other end and taking it back to wherever you want to go. So it's been a big problem, but um, after a bit of research, decided to stay midway along the river, or mid midway-ish, um, at, at Tresic campsite at Horworthy. Now, loads of taxi services um, have been approached none of them would take dogs apart from one guy but he didn't work on Tuesdays Ruby is disgusted by that but hay bus taxis seem to be really helpful they will not only transport canoes but they're happy to take dogs as well so I'm booked up so they'll collect me from Trussock campsite tomorrow morning at 10.30 take me up to Pay on why and hopefully we can launch there. And that was another confusing thing that I was trying to do start from right at the top from where I could. Um, and I think it's Glasbury, but you're not allowed to get in at Glasbury at the moment and you're probably not going to be allowed to launch from there for some time. So it seems like uh, Hay on Y is the place to start near the bridge there. So all I've got to do now, I've got the taxi there booked, just got to book up onto Trussock campsite and uh, then I can set off. I've got all the stuff for the canoe trip in here. Things like uh, cooking, tent and uh, food, some warm clothes and in here I've got the camera equipment which hopefully is going to stay dry in this Pelle case. So I'll just load it into the van and we can get going. way worth the money so far but the sort of sunny weather is now heavy rain showers so although we feel really snug and looking forward to eating in the van here I'm thinking wow what's it gonna be like tomorrow night under, under canvas anyway we'll wait and see what happens it's like Bear grills, isn't it we won't be going to the hotel we will be coming back to the motorhome in the end though well, it's Sunday morning, got up about 8 o'clock, taxi's due to come at 10 and I've had verbal confirmation of that. Got all my food ready, Ruby seems to be really, really happy, so everything's going to plan. The main thing I've got to do is not forget to book the campsite for tonight, um, so it's all going well. It's getting me worried now, this seems a long way in this taxi. <laughs> it's even longer in the river as well. Oh, thanks for the reassurance. Well, here we are, 55 minute taxi ride costs 50 quid uh, seems a bit daunting now we're here on our own interesting the amount of kit we've got here there's the canoe there's our bag of tent and food and everything a couple of life jackets I think I could probably cope with the bus but I wouldn't like to walk much more than a mile with this amount of luggage but I can get the uh, canoe on my back but it's quite heavy all right then Rube you ready well, we launched, we went down some little rapidy bits and the uh, boat was fine. And it's nice and tranquil along here. Ruby's settling down now. She wasn't that keen to start with, uh, like she ran up the river and had a swim on her own. But I think it's gonna be okay. She's settling down. And we've got the wind behind us on this stretch too. It's beautiful, isn't it? Bit shallow here, but I've taken the uh, fin out and uh, be walking through so it's quite pleasant really 
do my best not to scrape the boat at all. What I'm worried about is letting go of the boat and Ruby going down the river on her own. the tight corner there's headwind now so it's suddenly turned into a completely different game and the, cut, the canoes that are up ahead of me have nearly come to a standstill I've made up about half a mile on them here it's quite tough going really well we've had lunch there's a lot of swans on this stretch of the river we're still taking it steady ah. This is a welcome sight. I was looking out for a bridge because that means that we're not that far away from our destination for the stop tonight. Well, it's 7.30, finally got the tent up, got the boat out of the water, makes a nice sea actually. Um, the, the trouble started when I started to do the cooking and first of all I thought I'd forgotten the gas cylinder and I found that and then worse still I didn't bring myself a lighter or anything but luckily I managed to lag a lighter off one of the guys over there anyway so uh, this chicken tikka dehydrated meal courtesy of Daiki when he left it around our house last year so we'll see how that is anyway getting ready to have some food, cup of tea, early night, half past eight. I'm not sure how much sleep we're going to get because there's not a lot of space here and Ruby seems to have staked the claim to most of it. Right, we'll see you in the morning. Here we are, day two. We woke up about half past five, got on the water at half six. It was raining, Ruby wouldn't get in the boat she thought it was such a bad idea and to be honest with you we've probably bitten off more than we can chew today but we've been going for three and a quarter hours done 10 miles now we just stopped here at Hereford Rowing Club we really want to eat our breakfast but at least it's got sunny and warm now so I'm gonna get some more water have a roll and hopefully then we'll crack on and do the next 10 miles and see how we are after that things are looking better after a little stop Ruby's kind of settled down. She's even got in the boat without too much trouble. So she's, uh, I think it was the rain she hated, not the boat. Now the sun's out, she's happier. <laughs> Nearly one o'clock now. I'm really looking forward to lunch, I can tell you. The river's widened out, but there's still a few shallow bits. But generally, it's not been bad progress. It'll be interesting to see how far I've come. Well, quarter past two now, and we just passed some other people and they reckon it's only an hour to go to the campsite. I had a look on Google Maps, it's hard to tell, but I think they might be right. So we could be there by three o'clock. Well, what a day it's been, hey, Rube? Yeah, what a day it's been. Started off so bad this morning with the heavy rain, Ruby wouldn't even get in the canoe. Anyway, we got back here now. Two hours early, we got back to this campsite. And then, the best thing of all, met the campsite owner, he's going to give us a lift back from tomorrow's canoe trip. So we're absolutely properly sorted now. Just shows you how things, how your fortunes change. Well, this is it, the start of day three. It shouldn't be a very big day, about 12 miles. And we're going to go to ross on Y. Hopefully get picked up there by the campsite owner this afternoon. I'm afraid Rube doesn't look that impressed that we're going out again. Yeah, say bye bye to your friends, Rube. Have a great day. <laughs> really going to try and take things easy today and 
pay more attention to the river and the wildlife. There's a heron in there. for about 35 minutes. Been going nearly an hour now. Ruby has had a little sleep. We're just coming up to the uh, demolished railway bridge. Ruby's friends have just caught up with us. Just had a bit of excitement. Fisherman was in the bushes, I didn't see him. He gave me about one second's notice and said, look out, and that was it. The hook was in our boat. Luckily, it just got on, pulled through, the wire pulled through and uh, went on my fleece and didn't get Ruby or puncture the kayak. I apologized to him. But he didn't look very happy at all. I think if he could have got in the water, he'd have come over and punched me. Impressive view of Ross on Y as you come under the bridge. You're nearly there, Rube. That's the hope and anchor, I think. Probably the most dangerous thing is getting Ruby out the canoe at a jetty. That's it, Rube. That's all for today, all done. This is the start of day four. We've driven down to Simmons Yacht and uh, managed to park the van just in a free car parking space near the roundabout here. And the roundabout is by the bus stop and about half a mile from the river. So next thing is make sure that the bus driver is gonna let Ruby on the bus. I don't think there'll be a problem. Um, and then we can I've got about a 20 minute bus trip up to Ross on Y to start paddling. Alright, Ruth. nearly one o'clock but we've had something to eat we're at the Hope and Anchor um, jetty here Ruby's not too reluctant to get in today it's late start but I think we should have an easy paddle hopefully we'll be at Simmons Yacht by maybe five o'clock gonna be standing up for this leg Rube or are you gonna have a lay down it's up to you been on this canoe enough in the last four days to know what you like now.
Well done. Here we go, Rube. Let's try and keep out the trees. Who's that, Rube? Who can you see ahead? about a mile to go now. It's just gone four o'clock. Ruby's fast asleep. Wind's dropped. But it has started raining. We made it to Simmons yet. There's nobody here. You're supposed to pay and stuff. I think I'm just gonna try regular and then just leave all the stuff here and then drive to Montgomery for the night catch the bus here early in the morning. What do you think, Rube? <laughs> she don't want to get back in that canoe, that's for sure. Dear Rube. No. All right, Rube. Been a long day, isn't it? It's the last night cooking extravaganza now. So I decided to go for stir fry. I've got the noodles, but then I found out I haven't got any stir fry sauce. Anyway, everything out the fridge is going in there. So I don't know how it would turn out but it's nice to have some food and we've got to get a really early start in the morning to catch the quarter to eight bus from Monmouth and that involves getting the van nearer to town and getting parked up and all that crap so it's nice though that we found a good spot for the van tonight we're only about 20 feet from the river it's over there just done a little embankment there's three parking spaces here and there's some knackered out camper van next to me goodness knows who's inside it but if they look anything like their van does, they're going to be pretty haggard. So let's relax and end the day, try and get a good night's kip and then hit it hard again for the last few hours tomorrow. Well, amazingly, the stir fries worked out really well, even without the sauce. Main reason is Brian gave me this Lambetta 2021 chili jam that he made. And I've used that as a sweet and sour because it is kind of chilly and it's sweet and it's worked out really good thanks very much brian well we've moved from our overnight spot now and uh, we've um, now managed to park just by the rowing club here in monmouth and you can see really good place to park parking meters broken so you don't have to pay the biggest excitement was coming through this 10 foot high tunnel which goes under the a40 well motorhome is 2.9 meters so there wasn't much spare it's pretty exciting and a bloody stupid thing to do really but there we are it means that you can now get the bus up to Simmons Yacht come down the river and then we only have to carry the canoe about 25 yards and it's back in the van we're all ready for the last leg now we're at Simmons Yacht and we've got about a mile downstream to go to the rapids and then after that it's about five and a half half mile paddle back down to the rowing club at Monmouth so let's go well here we go the rapids let's hope we stay aboard Rube much not much water in the river that's why I think End is in sight there. There we are. I 
can see the boys' school and the rowing club ahead. There, Rube, you got a welcome reception, haven't you? Well, that's it. That's the end of our five-day adventure from Hay on Wye to Monmouth. I think Ruby's done really well. Certainly recommend this story canoe. That's been set very well up to the job. And the good thing is, there's still plenty of river between Monmouth and the sea to explore yet. So maybe that's for another time. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Andy. This is Ruby. Bye bye for now.